In this video, we are going to demonstrate the assessment of the second cranial nerve or the optic nerve. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. The optic nerve is the second of the 12 cranial nerves and is part of the visual pathway. It can be damaged due to intracranial hypertension or a variety of metabolic disorders by vasculitis and diseases such as MS. The optic nerve has a sensory and reflex function, namely visual acuity and the papillary light reflex respectively. Many ways to assess visual accuracy have been described and Kerr et al. from 2010 evaluated the diagnostic accuracy of seven of the techniques. Sensitivity ranged between 25 to 74 percent and specificity from 27 to 100 percent. Due to their low sensitivity, they are a poor screening test, yet it's the best tool we have, so the clinical value remains somewhat unknown. You may test visual accuracy with the help of a Snellen or Logmar chart. To start, the patient stands three or six meters away from the chart depending on which one is used. Each eye is tested individually, so the patient covers their other eye with their hand. If they use glasses or contact lenses, these should be worn during testing. They then read the letters on the chart out aloud. E, F, P, T, O, Z, L, P, E, D, P, E, C, F, D. In case uncontrolled acuity is less than 2020 or 66 vision, you can use a pinhole test where the patient reads through a 2 mm pinhole in a piece of cardboard or special device. Other ways include testing the visual quadrants. For example, with the patient in sitting position in front of you, ask them to look you in the eyes. Then place the fingers in all quadrants at around 60 degrees from the meridian. Then ask the patient to indicate which fingers are wiggling. Furthermore, you can move from the periphery diagonally to the midline and ask the patient to respond once the fingers appear in their visual field. No. No. To test the reflex function, ask the patient to make a shield between their eyes with one hand. Then use a flashlight to shine light into the pupil and observe for the narrowing of the patient's pupils in both eyes. Check for a direct and consensual reflex. Compare this with the other eye. Optic nerve damage would result in no reflex contraction of the pupils upon shining the light in the affected eye. Illuminating the other eye results in a normal response. Of course, the lights in the room should be dim. All right, that's the second cranial nerve. You can check out other cranial nerve assessments in the playlist to my left. If you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel and leave a comment down below. Also, if you didn't know, we have an assessment ebook, mobile app and online course that you can check out in the video description right below the like button. As always, this was Andreas for Physio Tutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.